Hello. Um, hi. <laughs> this is an update video to the box opening I uploaded. Honestly, I uploaded it like just now, but I recorded it back in May. Um, yeah. I don't know how to start a YouTube video. Even though I've, I'm gonna be honest, uh, I've like tried doing the YouTube thing so long now. Like I have so many like failed channels. Or not like failed, but just like, I don't know. I, I never came back to them. Anyway, new start. Welcome to Nenexo Dolls. <laughs> Off to a good start. Um, I'm gonna be uploading basically just doll videos. I don't know. It'll Honestly, it'll probably just be like whatever I feel like. But right now I'm really feeling dolls. And if you're here, you're probably also feeling dolls. So let's just do dolls. Anyway, so I uploaded a box opening about, of, oh my god, My People 60 Leash. Yeah, My People 60 Leash, Charlie, that's her name, and I since have done her face up. Let me show you her. Her, <laughs> her wig fell off, my bad. Um, also, sorry, you can see like my, that's not a stain on my desk, that's like a, like a, I don't know, it's like a dent. Uh, I won't come out. Um, because it's literally, it's just a, like a, like a dent. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, let me just put her wig back on. Yeah, it's white. She's got grandma vibes. Um, yeah, I'm not an amazing face-up artist. I draw and I paint, but I don't know, I'm so impatient when it comes to face-ups. Because, like, I don't... I This is all one layer of paint and uh, blushing. Because that's the kind of person I am. I'm like... I I mean, like, I'll, I don't know. Maybe someday I'll go back in. I'll probably add... I'll probably redo some of her eyeliner. Because it's not as dark as I'd like it to be. I'll probably add some lashes. You can't see it too well, but... Hopefully, hopefully this angle isn't too nauseating. I got I got this going on. You can't see my face because I'm not comfortable. I'm not comfortable showing my face yet. <laughs> my bad. Um, but hopefully this works for now. Uh, so and hopefully my PC isn't too loud. What? It, you're you're fine. You're you're fine. You're used to it by now, YouTube goer. Um, so yeah, this is Charlie. Um, she is. This is such a horrible angle. There you go. She is uh, wearing a turtleneck from an outfit set on Amazon. Uh, I think it's, it's by Ucanon BJD. Uh, honestly, kind of shady because pretty sure they're dolls. They're like, they're not BJDs, like they're not strung, they're hinge joint dolls I don't like I mean but like I'm pretty sure they're recasts like I'm pretty sure their face sculpts at least are recasts but I, and I'm not I, I don't want to buy recasts personally but like the outfits are so like cheap so yeah I'm just gonna keep getting them anyway this is this is good I like I like this I like this <laughs> um this is a skirt I made. Uh, it's not great, but, you know, it's it's made out of an old shirt that I really like, so it's got some it's got some sentimental value to me, and I like the texture of it. It's this really colorful stripe pattern. I really like it. Uh, she's also wearing a bracelet, which is actually a bracelet, like my gold bracelet, but it's just, I just wrapped it around her several times. I don't wear a lot of bracelets. So I was like, you know what, I'll give it to her. And she's wearing some white heels from, uh, not the same Amazon seller, a different Amazon seller. Uh, I think it, it came from like a school uniform set. Um, it's pretty easy to find if you look up like one third BJD clothes on Amazon. Uh, they're just some white shoes. I modified them. They didn't fit her originally because they had like a strap to make them a Mary Jane heel. So I just, I just cut off the strap. It's not like a great <laughs> modification because you can, you can kind of, you can see where I cut it off, but that's okay. So yeah, this is Charlie. 
I think I'll make a video at some point, like, explaining my entire doll collection, like, saying, like, the dolls I have, but, um, maybe not today. I have a lot of dolls, not just ball joint dolls. I also collect anime figures. Let me know, whoever's watching this, if you're into that. Um, I have a lot of hobbies, or I, I, I think I do. <laughs> I'm, I'm down to chat about anything in the comments. I'm terrible at replying to those kinds of things. Um, I'm such like an introvert, so I don't check that kind of stuff very often. But if I see it, I'll be like, hey, nice. And then I'll, I'll talk back. Sure. I'm, I don't have a lot of doll friends. I have like one doll friend now uh, in real life. Um, so I'm down to have more. Anyway, so this is Charlie. I just um, wanted to kind of show her off a little. You know, I know I just put her wig back on. I do the anime thing where I give her like a middle bang. <laughs> I think it's cute. Um, I know I just put her wig back on, but I'm going to take it off just to show off her face up more. Uh, who knows? Maybe someday I'll redo it. Right now I'm alright with it. Um, might redo it just to give her like sassier brows. Right now she looks incredibly sweet, which is really nice. I love the leash sculpt because it's so versatile and that smirk is just to die for. But, um, I don't know. The, her character is pretty mischievous. Mischie mischievous? Mischievous. <laughs> um, and chaotic. And I don't know if that's communicated well through her face up, but that's okay. You know, it's a learning curve. I, um, you know, I might as well say some stuff about her character. So I've been writing, because I love these kinds of videos, by the way, like where we just talk and drink tea together. Uh, my tea is honestly getting kind of cold and I'm already like halfway done with it, but it's okay. It's actually, it's really late at night. I should probably sleep soon. So this won't be too long, maybe. But anyway, let me, let me talk about this. Okay, wait, before I get into the, okay, honestly, skip ahead if you don't want to hear me talk about the state of doll YouTube right now, but I'm about to talk about the state of doll YouTube right now. Um, everyone who's still on Ball Join a Doll YouTube, who like makes videos, I haven't been making videos ever, but like, I always hear this and I feel the same way. Like all the OG, like, doll YouTubers are gone. Like, uh, Denali Wynn, um, or, like, they don't make doll YouTube videos anymore. Like, doll YouTube, like, BGD YouTube specifically is kind of dead right now, unfortunately. Like, I really miss the era where everyone would just, like, everyone. Like, there's just, there's a huge abundance of people who would just make videos chatting, just talking to the camera, the shit quality. <laughs> I love that. Um, and it would just be, like, here's my doll, I'm so happy, I love her, or like, here's her story, or his story, et cetera, et cetera, just show and tell, I love that, so, I think I mentioned this in my unboxing, actually, I just, I want to do my part and bring it back, that's all, um, oh my god, especially like, Ann Beccaro, Ann Beccaro, you're probably not watching this, but if you're watching this, um, I literally, like, I grew up watching your videos. Like, literally, I grew up. Like, I started watching. Oh, my God. If any, or if anyone passes this on to Ambacaro, I will be so embarrassed. But, like, I'm just I'm just too much of a, like, coward to, like, tell you this straight up. But, like, I, like, I always, like, go on Instagram. Like, I, like, always make sure to, like, check on how her, like, farm is doing. Like, I totally respect her doing other things now besides just, like, making a ton of doll YouTube videos. But I gotta say... I literally started watching it when I was, like, 13, and for reference, like, I'm an adult now. <laughs> and, um, like, her stories, they really changed my life. Like, she, her writing style and her doll style, seriously, like, it has informed so much of my work. Not just my doll work, but just my writing and my art. Yeah, so... Big thank you to her. Someday I think I'll make like an actual tribute to her because I really do adore her work so much and I continue, I will still continue to follow her no matter what she does. I just have to get that out there. Anyway, <laughs> my doll story. That's what this is about. I'm so sorry. This is my doll story. Um, so someday I actually, I should stop giving disclaimers. One, one more. I'm sorry, one more. Someday I do plan on publishing her story um, her and, like, 
the other, yeah, like basically her story. Um, so I won't say everything. I hope that's not annoying. I won't say everything about her story, but I will give a basic run through just so if anyone ever wants to follow more of the happenings in my artistic endeavors or whatever, <laughs> that, you know, you know, you know that you know. Anyway, so her name is Charlie, um, and she is the daughter of the goddess of love and the god of death. And uh, that makes her a very uh, complicated individual. Uh, she ha she's um, like a young adult, older teenager, like 18, 21, around that age. Um, she's, uh, how to put it, she's very like polarizing. She's like, um, she doesn't want to be defined by her parents, but it's kind of hard when they're like the two concepts, when they're like Eros and Thanatos, they like define the world essentially. So it's hard not to feel influenced. Um, she has inherited her father's apathy and her mother's like unsolicited therapy talk. Um, she's this very polarized girl. Uh, and um, basically her story, her story, um, so my working title for it right now is Necro XO. So like Necro, like death, and then XO, like love. Um, I just love those two concepts a lot. Um, so her parents are actually, if it sounds like I'm focusing on her parents instead of her, it's because her parents were like the main characters initially, but I really bonded with this character, so I wanted to show her. Um, her side of the story, uh, so it'll follow basically two sides. Um, there'll be like an A side and a B side essentially to when I make this probably into a comic, hopefully. Um, the A side will follow her parents, um, love and death, and then the B side will follow her. Um, just trying to, you know, figure out a lot of firsts in life when you get to her age, first job, struggles in high, not high school, but like college, first love, um, tackling all of that and tackling essentially the end of the world. Um, I really love stories like that, where it follows, this is basically like anime, <laughs> I love anime, but particularly I love, um, while I'm not a huge fan of, like, following a bunch of high schoolers, I do like how anime has a tendency to go for this, like, show this dichotomy of, like, funny and tragic and somehow balance the two and make that transition between the two not really seamless but and not really grounded in reality but just like it just makes sense like because like life isn't all sad or all happy you know so I just love that a lot of anime tends to do that um where was I going with this oh yeah her side of the story um I love the kind of stories that basically follow someone whose problems feel like the end of the world uh and they actually are the end of the world so like you're for you're like for example you are well she she's going through her first love it's not going so well feels like the end of the world except it like literally is the end of the world i like it when um analogies like that are taken to its absolute extreme because I feel like that's how it feels like in real life, you know? Don't, I don't mean to get on my soapbox. I just, I'm really passionate about stories like that, sort of. Like, I, I just, I like them. They just, they just, they tickle my, my heartstrings. So yeah, that's her. Um, I plan on the story being like a very, I've already written so much of it, by the way but I've like rewritten it over and over. I literally, I've been writing it for like seven years. Like it's, it's, been, it's been a long time. So I've got a lot of stuff that's just like 
aimless, like just character studies or just 10 page scripts that I don't know if I'm ever going to illustrate. Um, but I really, I really, I've connected with her. Um, maybe I'll, maybe I'll show some of the stuff I've written for her or I'll read a script or, um, chapters of an old draft someday. Um, I don't have a lot of her, like not as much as I have of like her parents. And, you know, I will definitely talk about her parents someday. Um, I don't have as much of her as her parents, but I do have a bit, I do have a bit. Some illustrations, some comics, some, like I said, some scripts. Sorry, my computer almost went to sleep. Um, so yeah, plan on doing some of that. So yeah, that's basically a general overview of her character. TLDR, or I guess TLDW, too long, didn't watch. Not too long, didn't read, whatever. Um, she's, um, kind of, she's just like a, she's a little, she's chaotic, she's mischievous, she's young, she's stupid, but wise, um, she's, uh, feminine, but she's not, she's not, she's got these, like, like, this body's, like, perfect for her. It comes off, like, super demure, hyper-elegant, but, um, she just, she comes off, like, such an imp. I like that. Like, little monster in, like, little monster with a gorgeous, um, gorgeous body. She looks frail. How do I put it? I'm sorry. I'm, I swear, I, like, write and I read, but I'm so terrible at articulating myself sometimes. And oh yeah, I I like I like characters like that. Uh, I appreciate her. I hope I didn't just show my face. Oh my god. <laughs> Whoopsies. Uh, yeah, I think that's all I want to say. Um, maybe I'll give some more insight into her at some point. Uh, she's a girl. She just likes to have fun. She just likes to have fun and sometimes uh, learn more about her abilities. Oh yeah, she has abilities. She Except her abilities are like... Because she's not a concept like her parents are. She's not love. She's not death. Um, she's not a concept. She's just like a dude. But she's... Because she was born from and into such strange conditions, she's got some weird stuff going on uh, with her body and... Her story follows a lot of changes to her, not just mentally and emotionally, but also physically um, and ability-wise. So her um, abilities start out as just weird shit. Like she can, her powers are just hyper-specific and not very convenient. She can turn people into backpacks when she gets too emotional. She can fly, but it's only like two inches off the ground. <laughs> um, that kind of stuff is so funny to me. Um, or like powers with consequences, like, um, she can go higher, uh, to fly, but she has to, like, her flying abilities are like Flappy Bird, she can only go like, uh, uh, <laughs> and only when she yells, like, Gucci at the top of her lungs, Gucci, Gucci, <laughs> sorry, I love making stupid powers, anyway, or like, uh, she has like, super strength, but only when she coughs a certain number of times. I don't know. Stuff like that. But then her powers start to be more like curses depending on how you see them. Like it's not even just like a funky quirky thing. It's like some of them get sinister. Like she uh, like gets the ability, like this is just an example. Again, I don't, I'm afraid of spoiling my own story, but she gains knowledge a lot of it and that's painful <laughs> that's painful um sometimes you don't want to know everything uh it makes you so intelligent but so sad yeah anyway i don't want to ramble on for too long because i have work tomorrow kind of early and it's already like past midnight <laughs> um if you've been watching for this long i consider 20 the 20 ish minute mark a good amount of time to do this um let me know what you guys think if there is anyone here um 
and show me your videos if you have any. I'm always looking for more doll people to watch because I, I, I eat this shit up. I love BJD videos like this. Especially like this. Like any kind, but especially like this. Um, so yeah, that's all. That's all. This, this is Charlie. I love holding her and feeling her joints. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, see ya. Thank <laughs> you.